Ladies and gentlemen, guys and girls, intersectional and intersexual variations of the species known as Homo Sapien Sapien. This is the Fort Chronicles. I am Captain Privilege. And with me through no choice of their own. Ah, oh, Dr. Darkseid. Yeah, man. <laughs> and Grandmaster Tech. <coughs> oh, God. Get out of my face. <laughs> I thought my fake uh, <laughs> inhale was, was fucking bad. Thanks, guys. You, you've, you've vindicated me there. And if you can't tell, folks, this is the inaugural premiere, second all. Th- weed 420 episode <laughs> for, for semicolon 20 episode of the Falk Chronicles where as every week the onboard artificial intelligence system the Falk XJ5000 scans your primitive planet for any signs of curatable culture and we were wondering why it's been running slow this past week but I, think, I think it's feeling a bit, little bit self conscious I don't think it kind of likes its surname there I think it's a bit more of a stone over actually maybe <laughs> A little bit paranoia. <laughs> so apparently, because that's a, yeah, apparently anyone touches weed's paranoid, like, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. But, with that all being said, and while I'm trying to finish rolling up a fatty, pause yourself. So, let, let's yourself. let's find out how to use cannabis and let's, let's blaze right into this. Huh? On screen. Hey there. I'm Mandy Lee, and today I'm going to educate you about how you can get more from your cannabis experiences by setting She looks like she's had a lot more. So normally I do a show called Try This, where I try cannabis products and services right here with you guys, and then I give you green Lucky flower bitch. educational Lucky reviews. bitch. But this week, we're going to try something a little bit different. We're going to focus just on the education piece, because we keep hearing from you guys that the education is what you are loving most about our episodes. So let's get to it and dive in. <laughs> Get to it <laughs> and dive in. It can positively what? impact their lives. We at Greenflower think it's important to be able to educate you on how you can get the most from your cannabis experiences. And to do that, we have three steps for you that are going to help you fully utilize this plant. Step one. Smoke weed. Step one. Unbutton your Step shirt two. two points so people can focus on your cleavage while you're talking <laughs> about weed. Make sure your mic is dangling very heavy so it opens that shirt a little more. Uh, dude, she's high. She couldn't be ass putting the fucking she couldn't top be on as, properly. She couldn't be ass buttoning the other one up either. Dude, like, it's like it's barely fucking on her, exactly. man. She just woke up and threw that shirt. Shut up, shut up. She obviously knows what she's talking about. She's got books there. She's, she's, under, she's un- read the books. She's un- using under the plant pot. Uh, she's <laughs> using the books as a plant pot <laughs> riser. It's, yeah. it's a fucking metaphor. It's a hidden message. <laughs> Weed over, pl- over books. <laughs> Pop over fucking knowledge. Which you know is I mean? more important here. Unless, of course, weed the pages books. are made uh. of weed. Then, you know, Ooh. read plenty of books. Hemp based weed books. Yeah. The first one is to set clear intent. The second one is to take immediate aligned action. What? And the third one is to trust the plant. What? Oh, so let's shit. Start with Use the hold on, hold on. Clear set your Most clear intention. Don't realize that Said that. Substantially influence the effects you feel on cannabis when you set a clear intent before consuming. So let's say that your clear intention was to be more well, clear intentions to smoke that fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> all of a sudden you're having the fuck? box thinking and seeing things from different perspectives. Or if your intention was, I want to be able to connect more deeply with this person. I would just hit the giggles. With, and yeah. then you consume, you might be just need to laugh at the plant. Yeah. <laughs> Cause so the, th- that's yeah. what I think about every time um, I smoke weed is, yeah, I want to connect more deeply with this person Jesus. that we're having conflict with. Dark side, you smoke weed? That's fucking creepy. You'd doesn't be, everyone? You'd be a fucking bad trip to fucking. Everyone get high doesn't. With. Oh. What, 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 did you think he was a spe- fucking downer? Did you think he was a spectral being that just a wisp of smoke came out oh, from shit. under his cloak as he walked? No. <laughs> anyway, let's, let's see. Thought you were holding it, my tech. Let's hear more of what she's got to say. For levels of compassion and having greater understanding for them. <laughs> Intention is really important for your experience because it allows you to get clear on the outcomes that you want to achieve from this plan. No matter how long that may take you. You might be thinking, okay, well, when I consume an indica, I know it's going to make me sleepy and tired and be heavy in my body. So what's the point of setting an intention when I already know the experience that I'm going to have? And here's how we look at it. 
it's true that an indica is usually felt more in your body. And if you don't have <laughs> felt experience more in my lungs, very likely you could end up in a couch lock state. Just couch lock. I love <laughs> these crazy the, the jargon couch lock. Thinking, oh, okay, I just can't consume indicas. They don't work for me. But what we found is that because indica is mostly felt because in your body, it can be honestly, like I don't go into so smoking a joint with fitness, the concept of it being a business meeting. Oh, <laughs> 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 like, that would be an awesome <laughs> business meeting. No, yeah, 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 fuck listen. it. Just invest. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is fucking like this is good. This is smart. She knows what she's talking about for a couple of reasons, right? Because if you're going to smoke shit and you're going to do drugs and you're going to intoxicate yourself or you're going to get high or you're going to do anything... This isn't about harm reduction, Listen, though. listen, no. It's about being smart and about doing it the right fucking it's way. It's formalising What most people... High. How most people, at least in the fucking European side, that our ship, the Starship Entitlement, fucking flies over, they just grow up, get a little bit of soap bars, kids... Fuck knows what's in that god awful fucking godless tar. Exactly, that's been you don't smuggled know whether you're smoking sativa and indica or whatever. The car tire and how you, fucking How are you supposed to know what your intention is and if then you even don't know what the hell you're smoking? Bag fucking grass, it turns into fucking, it could be fucking triagon, could be fucking homegrown, could be fucking. What if your intention is to rob a bank? But. So this is actually really good for <laughs> don't smoke you know, a joint for. being knowledgeable <laughs> for the future, especially with the legalisation spreading. It's good knowledge. It's good to know what you're smoking. Well, yeah, it's quite clearly good to know. If you are going to rob a bank, she starts don't off, smoke indica. She sta- yes, exactly. You may exactly. get couch locked while you're robbing the bank. Couch locked. <laughs> so, sounds like some kind of chastity <laughs> sexual position, doesn't it? But, uh, w- 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 when... <laughs> <laughs> I can yeah, hear. I'm trying to fall I'm out sorry. Here, but the I can, I can, like, I can <laughs> hear a stoner saying this. Sorry, man, I can't come out today. I'm totally couch locked. <laughs> <laughs> like what? Like some kind of chain holding up to the couch. <laughs> like, a daisy chain made a fucking joint. <laughs> Trail of fucking trash and fucking junk, fucking food. But yeah. I think it's, it's it's a good thing what she's doing. You know? Right, let's let's. But she starts off dead cuckoo by she's talking about the fucking. <laughs> she starts your off dead to cuckoo. The plant when you on. grow the plant. Let, let's, However, get, let's carry on and see how cuckoo she is. The right? bureaucratized. It's the not smoking cuckoo of though. Weed. It's not cuckoo. It's been scientifically shown that there's fucking effects to plants de- depending on the surroundings. Okay, yeah, but the, okay. You, you keep justifying her. Okay. Yeah, but the bureaucratized smoking weed. Yeah, exactly. That's my point. Bye-bye. No, Bye-bye. she's just capitalizing. Present to my partner when we're being intimate. You might be surprised that after you consume, instead of feeling heavy and sleepy, and sweet philosophy, you man, body and alive and loose and ready to be. <laughs> yeah, I bet. And if you're wondering, well, how do I set a cannabis? It's intention? a fucking way of life. Here, here we go. I set my cannabis intentions. So I start off by picking a strain that I think is going to work well for the effects and experience that I'm looking to have. Stoner <laughs> politics and stoner theosophy. To sit down and consume, I pause for a moment. Oh yeah, totally get couch locked with this stuff. So then I'm starting Did you catch that? Gratitude to the plant, yep. And positivity. Then I set my intention, and while I'm setting my <laughs> Got intention, to praise the air, man. Coming from my heart and going into this. <laughs> <laughs> it needs to come from your heart and go into the camera. Thank you for this blessed plant and all that it is. Oh, come on. <laughs> come, come on. on. Come on. What? Thank you for this blessed plant. She's being fucking thankful. She is checking her privilege. What fucking more do you want? She's checking her she cleavage. She's privileged to live in this luscious green earth with all its weedly ways of getting into our hearts. Through our lungs. You think, and through various you think forms of fucking you're gonna, cancer. But. You're going to thank, thank Jimmy in number 57 who's been growing it in his back cupboard. That's who you've got to thank. <laughs> Don't fucking dox my Dior. Right? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. It's, to me, it's this far too fucking new age. This is like... This is, it, it, it's, but it's weird. It's like it's a new age kind of happiness. It, it, you know Cro- what? It, cross with a, a, a kind of modern kind of... Uh, business philosophy. You know what? So I want to. I want to see her philosophy in slap chop style. Never underestimate the ways. Underestimate. <laughs> <laughs> Let's catch that. Never, never underestimate the strength of the weed. Just wanting to fucking stop your lips fucking moving. <laughs> never, never underestimate. Was that your intention? The ways of. The Red Eye Jedi. That's all I'm saying. Okay. She, she does the not come across politics, like a Red Eye Jedi. The stoner, no. the stoner politics and the no. stoner theosophy and theology and philosophies and culture. Is, but she she looks like the deep, the quarter deep. of a percent of the population that's never seen Star Wars. <laughs> she is fucking Star Wars. Check her. She's out in the fucking stars right now, but. In presence that I can connect more deeply with my partner, and so it is. 
Would you, so your intention has she got like a very specific way of holding it? It's like, I, I'm smoking this in prayer. Yeah, you, you have your prayer, prayer bong. Have you <laughs> ever heard of a prayer bong? <laughs> Certainly not with her attitude. That's, Blessed be thy bong. That, you know what I mean? It, it, it's basically, it's taken the, the weed smoker attitude of being quite street and underground and has now taken it to a corporate environment, almost. Taking it to an educational, a higher level of education. This is not education. Something you may want to fucking get acquainted with. This is not education. You're going to get through those fucking warp field this manuals, you lazy fucking. This is <laughs> not. This is not education. This is more like sitting through a HR health and safety meeting. Yeah. That, you, that's you're a fucking feels. HR health and safety meeting. No, I'm a health and safety get violation. There's manuals. a difference. Get reading those warp manuals. <laughs> 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 have and the support that you're looking to cultivate from using this plant i'm expecting her to go so what makes you want to smoke weed then you know what makes you want to join this company <laughs> you feel like you're in an interview i do this is how it feels it'd be the greatest interview of your fracking life yeah can you smoke three of these do i come learn everything there is to know about smoking weed no i just want to smoke it from my cannabis and i experience less of the effects so i highly recommend that you guys Check this out and give it a try. I highly recommend you should have done that. I just gave you, I would set my intention and consume and then go straight to the bedroom with my consume. partner and start setting the room up so that we could be intimate. Uh -huh. Now, uh -huh. if I consume yeah, and then I went straight to the sofa, most likely my intention is not going to manifest and I'm going to be sleepy and tired and couch locked. Unless. Is that <laughs> the, does she need to get stoned to, to fuck her laid. boyfriend? Like, how ugly is yeah. her fucking boyfriend? Oh, shit. She needs to get stoned first. <laughs> it's not like beer. You don't get fucking beer goggles when you're fucking high. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what is the need then having to get high before she get, does she need but she needs she to smoke that just, before you, she can get you, intimate with her partner how carefully. frigid is she <laughs> if you listened carefully to the educational informational fucking broadcast dark side she clearly stated that when you input your intentions to the plant and you smoke a certain strain of le plant and you think about having sex with your man all day while you're lying on the couch getting high La plant, then <laughs> when he comes home, she's randy as fuck and right. The only and thinks, thing he thinks it's the weed that's accelerated the fucking process. The, the only thing he's bothered about in planting is not his intention. <laughs> Ooh. Unless he's got a tattoo up the side it's of his a intention. Different yeah. kind of pot. <laughs> <laughs> uh. It's more like poppers. Right? That's, that's well, hey, she did she did see uh, loose earlier <laughs> on, so yeah. <laughs> So it's really important that you are proactive so that you make sure that your intention comes true. So you want to take immediate aligned action towards whatever the activity no, is. Like you put on that ski mask and go rob that bank as, soon as, as soon as you put that joint out. Th this is actually destroying my, my liking for weed. Brainstorming on your business. It's the future, man. Commercialization, yeah, it will happen. Anxiety, so that you can connect deeper with people. After you consume, I would immediately go to that social gathering and start engaging in deep, meaningful conversations. I'm not going to go straight into a social gathering after I just put a joint out. Sorry, especially not. It's not happening. I just start talking to people in deep, meaningful conversations. <laughs> yeah, like that, a stereotypical stoner. <laughs> that, this is this is women's planning, isn't it? Is this women's oh, planning? Oh shit! This is stoner's planning. Did you just? Assume her gender there, Well, yeah. quite clearly, you know, quite clearly. <laughs> Did she state at this any like, point she was a woman? This is happy splitting. This is happy splitting. No, this is far from happy splitting. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I would go with that one, I think. No! Hipster, yeah, yeah. You, yeah. Can, you right. guys are underestimating the power of knowledge, okay? The power of the green side. This is not the, the power dang, of knowledge. The, the true this, is, this is the power of how to read off of an auto cue whilst presenting like you're at a tech meeting. She was not. She's yeah. not auto cue. She's she's like you said. She's fucking splitted. She's getting it done. Maybe she's chair locked. No. <laughs> this is the only thing she can do to keep herself she's awake. So high, yeah. She's so high. She just to sit there and fucking talk. She was a spoffy little kid in school that everybody hated. Everybody, everybody in school was she a was stoner. A cool and she, and she, she, she was the kid that never smoked weed. And then now, now she's older. She's like she she Obsessed. knows everything. Yeah. No. Or, or she spent a whole life getting into weed. Why? Oh, oh, that's God. what it is. Because she's a woman. That's you don't what trust it is. Her. Is that it? You misogynist. That's what it is. I don't trust anybody with 
with a blue top on. But with an attitude like that. She <laughs> an is, attitude like what? <laughs> she is the Hermione Granger of this movie. Exa- exactly. Yes. <laughs> She's a spoff. Yes. Spoff. I thought you were gonna call her a witch. But all right. Burn the witch! Burn the witch! Burn the spoff. You you're being socially irresponsible there, Dark Side. She's being socially responsible. She fuck she's being socially responsible. You don't want to let people to smoke weed Listen, how they want to re- smoke weed. Regardless, reg- no. You shouldn't just be fucking walking around willy nilly fucking blazing up how if you dare don't. Know how you, you're how doing. dare you and tell me <laughs> she is to smoke my cannabis. <laughs> She's not telling you anything that yeah, she's, you she's don't a want to know. Hipster to me. <laughs> hipster splaining. Oh, great. There's oh a new God. one. No. Hipster splaining. I'm getting quite no. a fear boner. Just <laughs> And on that note... Careful, she might have to smoke weed <laughs> a bit right, for You better fucking smoke a joint and chill out. So, on off, that off note... Screen. On, on, on that note, folks... <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, yeah, oh. why don't you go ahead and uh, lay the big fatty and slap it on that like button. <sighs> no, no, you Put out that implant that your like intent button. in that like button. Implant it? <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Risky. <laughs> Pray to the always go sexual with you guys, yeah. man. Oh pray to the goodness that is that like button. Apparently. Pray to the goodness, yeah. yeah Be apparently. thankful for that like button. Yeah. Over explain <laughs> and make it boring to that yeah, like button. Yeah, we're probably milking that one a little bit, aren't we? But if you're a D- fan of yeah. short, short form, long form content, we promise we won't be 420'd out or not. Short long form. Short long <laughs> form. See, it's already getting in my brain, man. Sorry, it's, it's already messing with my, short my synapses. Form. This, yeah, uh, I'll this, rewire them later. This earthbound homegrown ain't half bad. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead and subscribe. And uh, join the same dank time, same dank channel next week. I think that's cactus this you're smoking, been, by the way. Th- this has been <laughs> cactus shavings. <laughs> this has been the Fault Chronicles. I am Captain Privilege, Dr. Darkside. Peace. Grandmaster Tech. Out. Closing Helm Frequencies in the communications. <laughs>